from beautifying boroughs and restoring historic landmarks to upgrading baseball fields and parks like TLC Park here in Tannersville, the Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau has awarded nearly a million dollars among 104 community projects since 2022 through its Community Impact Grant. So far this year, 38 projects have received funding, plus a second round of $300,000 was recently announced to support even more regional initiatives for 2024. Let's take a look at some of the latest projects, projects benefiting all who live, work and play in the Pocono Mountains. Another season of song and scenery will soon return to Harmony in the Woods, an outdoor live performance venue tucked away in Holly. It's intimate where you're not going to have a lot of crowds. It's BYOB and it's just it's pure magic. People will say it's the best kept secret. Harmony in the Woods received $4,000 to enhance and bring awareness to its fourth season of concerts happening every weekend from July 5th through September 7th, 2024. We have everything from bluegrass to world funk jazz to orchestral, you know, small chamber style groups. We have incredible like indie folk rock bands that are up and coming and um, touring all over the United States. And here in nature, under the shady trees, people become rooted together as a community while enjoying acts from all over the world. This is the place where you can start to say, oh my God, I, I saw them. I, I saw them before they became like, you know, Taylor Swift, Swift sized. <laughs> like you can see them right on the way up. From songs to stories of the past. In Stroudsburg, the Monroe County Historical Association received $20,000 for display cases, bringing to life many artifacts that have been sitting in storage due to limited space. Well, and they're gonna be a much uh, higher quality display case uh, with lighting and humidity control, things like that. The Historical Association is headquartered at the Stroud Mansion a historic home built by Stroudsburg's founding family in 1795. The organization is able to reimagine and expand its 13 public display rooms in the Stroud Mansion thanks to this 13,000 square foot heritage center being added to the property. We're having a room uh, dedicated to women's history. We're having a room dedicated to our diverse community, the Native American tribes, first families, and one of the more exciting ones is going to be Vacation Land. The Vacation Land exhibit will highlight the history of hospitality in Monroe County with memorabilia from former small boarding houses to big resorts, plus the Pocono's iconic honeymoon era. We do have a heart-shaped tub that we're going to encourage visitors to get in and experience, so it's going to be a really fun, fun room, that's for sure. From one small town to another, in the iconic downtown Jim Thorpe, $10,000 will help refurbish 26 Victorian lights lining Broadway. Soon, they'll look more like this. They're pretty foggy. If you look at all the uh, chimneys and the lights, they're all faded and dark and just milky white, and you can't really see them. So to match them up with the two new ones, it'll be nice and clear acrylic. You'll be able to see the lights very well. It's an intricate process being done in phases involving an out-of-state company that specializes in projects like this. They take the light and they strip it down completely. They run it through a process, take all the paint off, refurbish it, and then they put new electronics in it, put it all back together, and send it back to us. These Victorian lights, fitting for the small town known as America's Little Switzerland, were originally gaslit, then eventually converted to electric. Jim Thorpe's leaders say it's important to keep them shining bright for safety and scenery. If you see most of the pictures that go online, you'll see the lights late at night with the trees that are currently blooming now. And it's just, it's just a pretty picture when you look down the street. In Milford, this historic building dating back to the 1890s, which was a doctor's office, then a law firm, will soon serve as transitional housing for homeless individuals and families with children. Family Promise of the Poconos received $1,000 to help make the property ADA accessible. Last year in Pike County, we provided assistance to 28 families. We actually had 
who were homeless, that we worked with them and we got them into stable independent homes. After exclusively serving Monroe County, Family Promise expanded its reach to the neighboring Pike County in 2019 to provide residents with rental and utility assistance. That kind of grew to the need that there was no provider for those who are without homes. Uh, the homeless here had no advocates, so we expanded our operations here and a year and a half ago changed our name from Family Promise of Monroe County to Family Promise of the Poconos to better represent our footprint. In addition to four temporary housing units, this will also be a walk-in 211 access site for anyone needing food, housing, transportation, childcare, or other resources. Case managers will help on site or provide reference to another agency. This is just a, such an ideal location because we're walkable to jobs, we're walkable to school, to the playgrounds. We're very close to the library so parents can take their children down there. From helping the homeless and honing in on history to lighting up the downtown and stage, the PMVB Community Impact Grant continues leaving a positive mark across the Poconos. Visit PoconoMountains.com slash grants to learn more. With the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk.